In this video, we'll balance the equation for FeCl3 plus Ki. This is iron 3 chloride plus potassium iodide. Let's count the atoms up first. One iron, three chlorines, one potassium, and one iodine atom. On the product side, we have the iron, one of those. Chlorine, we have two. Don't forget this one either. So we have a total of three chlorine atoms, one potassium, and two iodine atoms. It looks like really the only thing we need to balance right now is this iodine here. So let's put a two in front of the Ki. So now we have two times the one iodine. We have two iodine atoms, that's balanced, but two times the one for the potassium, now we have two potassiums. Let's put a two over here in front of the KCl. One times two, two of those, and then the chlorine, we need to update that. So for the chlorine, now we have the two plus the two times the one here, that'll give us a total of four chlorine atoms. At this point, it's a little bit challenging. Probably what I would do is I would try to get this chlorine to an even number. So I put a two in front of the FeCl2. So now I have one times two, that'll give me two iron atoms, and then three times the two, that'll give me six chlorine atoms. So at least it's an even number. Let's balance the iron, see how that changes the chlorines. If we put a coefficient of 2 in front of the FeCl2, 1 times 2, that would balance the ions. Let's update the chlorine atoms now. We have 2 times 2, that's 4, plus 2 times the 1, that's 2. Actually, that's balanced. So this is the balanced equation for FeCl3 plus Ki. Often when you get an odd number like this, if you get it to an even number, that can make the balancing easier. And then sometimes things just work out. This is Dr. B. And thanks for watching.